hello friends welcome back to channel so we have learned about many command today's command is lsblk okay lsblk is used to display uh, the information of block devices except ram okay ram devices not show it's showing the output in a tree structure okay this is a tree so this is the sda then under that we are having sda1 and a2 two parties this server is having only one disk attached that is called SDA and it is further parted, parted in a two partition SDA1, SDA2. So to display this thing, we are having a LSBLK command. This is the by default command comes with the system installation. Whenever you run this command, you will get the disk information. Okay. And we are having some other option like DS, uh, LSBLK hyphen B. Let me execute this lsblk hyphen b. So if you're able to see the earlier size is showing in a GB, now it's showing in a bytes. Okay. So if you do a hyphen b, it will show the data in a byte. And if you hyphen d, skip the slave entries. So earlier it was showing sda1 a2. Now slave has been removed. Only sda and sr0 ROM it's showing. Okay. If I do hyphen a so it will get the same data okay then we are having i and these things but i is not useful we will use m remember this so it will show the ownership group and the mode all are the block device that's why it's showing b in the starting of that thing and uh, you can customize the output using lsblk hyphen o for output then you can just say okay first column i want size then I want name, then I want mount point. Okay, mount point. So size, name, and mount point. You can change the sequence. So you can say first we want name, then size, then mount point. So accordingly it will change. So O4 is for output LSBLK. So it will show hyphen A, B, bytes. I have told you D, no depths okay execute leaves fs i and these things and for permission which we are calling mode l is also there o is for output so these are many options available but i will tell you what the use of this if you run ls blk you'll get the detail of a disk so only one disk attached to this server and further it has created two partition slash root which is mounted on slash and a swap partition Okay, this is a by default partition which got created while installing the OS. Now, if I attach a new disk, okay, how I will come to know which disk has attached, what's the size and where it is mounted. If I attach a new disk, what's the name of that disk? So, to understand this thing, name of the disk, size, we use lsblk. And this is very useful command for an administrator because whenever we attach a new disk to a server, we have to find the name of the disk then only we can take it further. So lsblk is the command to find the name of the new disk size and all the thing. And we will come to know the status of the disk is online or not. So that's all for today's video. Learn this thing. Keep practicing lsblk. Remember this thing. In next couple of video, we'll discuss about the f disk where we'll create a attach a new disk and then we'll create a partition. So that time you will feel the use of lsblk command. Bye bye. See you.